Your Excellency, this is an official strip. Mm -hmm. The new one, it's a fresh one mm -hmm. from Puma. Um, until I entered this premises, I had forgotten which position you played. <laughs> <laughs> but Felix tells me that you were a top striker. <laughs> so I would, I would just accept that. So on behalf of the FA and the football family, I would respectfully want to present the official strip. It bears your name. Your Excellency, the the last leg of our journey to Qatar starts with the departure of the local component on the 10th of November. On the 17th, we have the last international friendly against uh, Switzerland in Abu Dhabi. And then the team will depart to the, to the battlegrounds on the 18th mm -hmm. of, of November. Mm -hmm. On the 24th, we have our opening game against the Portugal. Mm. It is our belief that having put in all the hard work, having assembled perhaps the most talented intangible assets in our players, having put together a very strong 10 car team, we believe we are well placed to be very competitive and to make our dear nation great and strong. We are here again to seek your blessing. Our singular vision is to rally the entire nation behind our black stars and the reason why we are here. And we believe that before we exit this premises, we would have succeeded in getting your blessings with a clean heart. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kurt, and your, your team for this uh, visit. Um, we feel honored and privileged to uh, receive you, and I want to thank you very much for the strips you brought me. Uh, it will update my wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> I have several of the strips from all the years that we have uh, gone to the World Cup, and so I'll add this to what I, I have in my wardrobe. Um, I urge that all Ghanaians should rally and support the Black Stars. The Black Stars in the past was what united us, and um, anytime the stars were playing. Um, there was no political affiliation, there was no ethnic orientation. We all supported the Black Stars with one heart. You know, recently it doesn't seem uh, to be the same. And um, I urge that we put all political considerations aside and know that that is our best team, is our national team. And uh, for the boys to have the kind of encouragement to give up their best, you know, on that stage, um, it needs the support of uh, the whole the whole nation. Um, simply putting it, we might depoliticize, you know, the, the the stars. If the stars win, it's not credit <coughs> to one political party or the other. It's credit to all of all of Ghana, you know, and it doesn't matter under which administration uh, it wins the cup or not. We might know that those boys are from all over our country. They are not political. Most of them don't even, you, can, you don't know what political party they belong to. You know, so let's all support them. Many times they're going to play. I play my part. I tweet about them or put out a message, you know, encouraging them and encouraging Ghanaians to support them. I'll continue doing that. I'm their number one fan. <laughs> so, I'll be sitting behind my TV. Normally, sometimes I get heartache, you know. <laughs> but uh, now that I'm a senior citizen, I have to, you know, I've seen a few pictures where people hide and watch. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very unnerving experience, you know. The last time we were playing with uh, Brazil, you know, after the 93 in the first half, I had to give up. <laughs> and then I come back and ask. Have we scored? Have we scored? <laughs> <laughs> but they had a good second half, you know. Yeah. And normally, with our team, it's settling in, settling down. Yeah. When we go to a tournament, the first few matches, you know, it takes time for us to settle and play play our real soccer. Unfortunately, we're in the group of death. I mean, the teams in our group are 
<coughs> strongest. And look at what fate has made. Br brought Uruguay into our, <laughs> our group again, you know. It will be sweet revenge if we score them. <laughs> and so please, even if you don't beat anybody, Uruguay. <laughs> Just beat them for me. <laughs> you know. And let's pay Suarez back, you know, for what he did for us. But um, we wish you well. We know that um, under your administration, the GFA has brought some more vitality into our our football. And we're all supporting your administration to make sure that we move football to the, the next level. I know there are challenges, especially in the domestic league. Now, because of English Premier League and all that, I mean, our people are more tuned to watching La Liga and things. And so people are not coming to the stadium as much as they should. But it's normally a good family entertainment to go with the family and watch a local match. But we need to raise the standard so that people will love to come and watch. And they've been concerned about refereeing and all that. So when that happens, it you know, depresses the quality of, of the league. But uh, we have faith that you have all that in hand. And uh, we'll continue to support you. Our doors are open if there's anything you think as a former president I can do. Uh, to bring any moral encouragement or anything, don't hesitate to, to let us know. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.